Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first way is to go to device manager, make a right click in the device manager, make a right click in the start menu and then go to device manager. And then over here, expand human interface devices. Now over here, if you find HID compliant game controller, so in my case, I won't have it, but if you find this HID compliant game controller like this. So if you find this, make a right click on HID compliant game controller. This is just an example. Make a right click and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Now the next step is to disable. If you find key crone keyboard or mouse in device manager, make a right click under human interface device. If you find key crone keyboard or mouse, make a right click and disable it. If you have VJoy 360 controller emu emulator or virtual HID in device manager, you can disable it. Disconnect input devices such as optical keyboard. So if you have any kind of optical keyboard connected, you can disconnect it. If you have Razer Huntsman keyboard connected, disconnect it. These devices might cause other input devices that are plugged in not to work properly in, in the game. Try unplugging your keyboard. If you have any extra keyboard, wired keyboard connected or wireless keyboard connected, disconnect it. Uninstall any keyboard related drivers as a workaround. If you have key chrome keyboard connected, disconnect it. Disconnect key chrome dongle also from the computer. Disconnect any kind of dongle USB adapter connected to the computer which you are not using. Disconnect Razer Tartarus. Unplug flight simming hardware. So if you have external devices like OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Unplug external keyboard, disconnect additional joystick or controller connected. Disconnect arcade stick. For few players, disconnecting the mouse has also worked. So you can try this. If you have any virtual controller connected like VJoy, etc. Install any computer, you can uninstall it. In device manager, if you find VJoy, uh, make a right click, disable it, or you can uninstall VJoy and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to disable Steam input if Steam is running. If you're running Steam, go to Steam, then go to settings and go to the controller tab. And if you the Steam input, if these are enabled, so you can disable everything from here. Disable everything moving and then launch the game. If you are using PlayStation controller, then select not enable. For PlayStation, you will see PlayStation controller. Now over here, you can select not enable over here. And then launch the game. Still not working. In that case, close Steam. Simply close Steam before you launch the game. And then close Steam related process in Task Manager. Make a right click in the Start menu and then go to Task Manager. If you have any... Um, process related to Steam, then close it. So in my case, Steam is already closed. So if you find anything that says Steam over here, you can just make a right click and then click on end task. Now, the last step is to use wired connection. So if nothing is working, you can connect your controller uh, using the USB cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.